Oh man, this is a nightmare. <laughs> this is gonna be all over me. Edible glitter has become a bit of a trend on, you know, pastries, on coffee, in beer already. I mean, it's only a matter of time before we're gonna have glitter pizza, glitter sandwiches, glitter spaghetti. So, might as well try it now. Some pink glitter pizza. Wow. I wanna say something about how, even though it's so festive, it makes me kind of sad. <laughs> anyway, this is my real job. <laughs> I can't believe I just ate that. <laughs> you can't taste anything about the glitter at all. You wouldn't even know it was there um, if you couldn't see it. And that's kind of the whole point of it, is that it just makes everything a little bit more fun. If glitter is your particular brand of fun, which for many people, glitter is not their particular brand of fun, um, a lot of people think glitter is terrible. <laughs> Edible glitter is actually food grade glitter. It's made of food ingredients. It is different from non-toxic glitter. It can be kind of confusing because it's kind of indistinguishable from craft glitter when you look at the packaging. Uh, and edible glitter is always gonna have nutrition facts and it should say edible on the label. I mean, the question that we should be asking is not, can we put glitter on everything, but should we put glitter on everything? I'm Maura Judkiss and I'm a reporter for the Washington Post and I'm covered in glitter. <laughs> <laughs>